And we're back with Richard Reviews. Today we're doing a book review uh, for Richard Reviews, uh, his book review segment here on YouTube.com. Uh, you can find his book review series here on YouTube.com slash book reviews Richard uh, slash book reviews dot com. Uh, here we have uh, a book that Richard is, uh, he's reviewed for us. Um, today, and um, this book really means a lot to Richard uh, due to the history that it served uh, throughout the past for Richard and his associates. Um, the book itself is Manufacturing Consent. Uh, it's the political economy of the mass media, and it is by uh, Noam Chomsky, also by Edward S. Herman. But Noam Chomsky is the credible author of this classic, uh, classic book. Um, and it basically shows the different dialects through the mass media. Uh, as Chomsky points out, um, how he delves into how the media is um, not only distributing facts, but facts are in order to persuade the public towards a certain opinion due to the fact that the media these days are slightly to the right or to the left, including demographic and republican stances. Unfortunately, this plays a major tool and um, part into how we receive our news and for the most part, it's in a negative era, uh, in the way that we don't receive the news correctly. Unfortunately, um, uh, for an example, if the U.S. are involved in a global war uh, across the world that the citizens are unable to witness firsthand, the news will appropriately cover it um, in a delicate manner to help persuade and soften the mood, if you will, which Richard has uh, found extremely alarming, as Noam Chomsky points out in his uh, critically acclaimed novel, Manufacturing Consent. Uh, now, let's take a look at the piece itself. Um, this piece was given to Richard in 2014, and as you can see, the piece, it has a tear in the front, but the tear is intentional, as it is a T, so it's manufacturing consent, but it's also manufacturing content. Uh, a, a clever play on words from Noam Chomsky uh, himself. Uh, the piece is a grand piece. This is a very nice piece. As you can see, it's thick bolded around the sides, clean edges, and uh, maximum blessings, as you can see. The official press appears as 1895 in the U.S. and 2895 in Canada. As you can see, uh, Richard paid a mere five dollars for this. Uh, he paid a five dollars for this at the World's Fair in 1995, so he cannot complain. The piece itself is a grand factual piece filled with everything from Cambodia to basic collateral conditions, 23 amendments, times tables, continuity, propaganda model, Chile, CIA, FBI, and Donald Rumsfeld. Um, official page count, I'm going to give it 387. Let's give it a solid four. Okay. Richard rates this book very highly, considering it's brought out his main attention throughout the world. And um, he's giving it a solid 7.7 .7 out of 10. That is the official Richard rating for this book. You can catch us next Tuesday, every first Tuesday of the month, as we will be reviewing another Richard book reviews for you here on YouTube. And that's it for today. Thank you, and goodbye.